Hello. Actually, get this shit on me. Hustle, you gon' watch me blow. You gon' help me blow. You know what I'm saying? Look, bitch, we grinding right now. It's your boy Daniel Cash back with another video. Y'all ready to tell me this? Make sure you leave a like on this video for the YouTube algorithm. I really, 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 really would appreciate it. Um, and so, like, right now we finna hop into this story. Let's get into it. So, boom, little TJ tweeted out this tweet that actually should be pretty much on everybody's radar. Little TJ isn't happy, you know. Mental health awareness literally just passed. So I feel as though. This is late, but better late than never. Um, he pretty much tweeted out this tweet right here. Whenever you feel like you want to quit, just remember why you started. So basically, in a nutshell, he basically saying that, you know, he really, really... For him to even type this up and then also tweet it. Because obviously when you type something, you actually see what you write and then you think about it. Because when you see something, you also think about it. Somewhere, some shape or form, you think about something about... You writing it, you know, whatever's written down, you think about something that's, you know, that can relate to that. So, pretty interesting situation. Um, I don't know if it's like depression, anxiety. I don't know what led for him, you know, to pretty much think like this, go through this. Because, you know, young kid, he got cars, he got money, he got attention, you know. But it's things money can't buy. And that's what hurt people the most. Love, affection, uh, just time. And time can be a lot of different things. Time with people, lost ones, you know. Money can't fix every every problem. You know, I actually seen T Pain say that uh somebody basically one of his family members passed. And it was like, uh, oh, you let that, somebody, a fan was like, oh, you let that person die. You got money and stuff you could have paid for them to, you know. But it's like, you know, how you going to pay cancer off, you know. It's like, can't can't do bad, you know. Some stuff you can't really, you know, buy your way out of. So pretty much just crazy situation. Um, I don't know if he was depressed or not. I'm just taking it all in for the tweet. Um. So, hopefully, little TJ is in, you know, good spirits, good vibes. I know he just dropped the song. Um, and just because he just dropped the song doesn't mean, like, he's happy or whatever the case. You know, that literally doesn't mean nothing. All it means is he's showing up for work. <laughs> Feel me? Think about it. People show up to work every single day. They hate it. But they know why they're there for the check. His case... He probably want to get out of his deal. He probably want to get out of his situation. Or, you know, he probably going through certain situations where as though music is helping him out, helping him cope with some sort of vibe that he got going on with himself, you know, with the inner vibes of the inner, the inner little TJ. So, interesting situation. Comment down below how I feel about this. And, you know, is it depression? Is it the fame? Is it just a tweet? Is it maybe the vibe he going with for his album? You know, I think about all those things. I don't take any famous or any influencer tweets serious. Just because, they, you know, they are entertaining the world. So, you know, you, you shouldn't expect for you to... Don't be serious in your tweets, you know. <laughs> Come out with a video or something or call people or, you know, get a therapist or somebody that can actually help you out. And feel good because I was listening to Meek from Mr. Philadelphia to Dream Ooh. Chasers 1 to Dream Chasers 2. <laughs> 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 